Okay, so in this video, I want to go through finding probabilities from a three-circle Venn diagram, okay? Um, so, let's start off with probability of A, then. So, probability of A is anything that is within that circle of A. So, we've got 3, 6, 14, 16. Now, what is it out of? Well, I need to add up all of these numbers that are inside in order to work out the total. So I know that that's 16. Then I've got uh, an extra 6, so 22, 27, 28, 30. So it's out of 30. So it's 16 out of 30. So 16 out of 30 just reduces to 8 fifteenths. OK? So, probability of B then. So, anything that is within the circle of B, 6, 8, 16, 21. So, 21 out of 30, okay, uh, which is 7 tenths. Okay. Now, probability of not C. So, anything that is not inside that circle. So, we've got 6, 8, 11, and 13. So it would be 13 out of 30. So that should mean that there's 17 out of 30 if it was probably a C. So 1, 6, 14, 17. Yep, 17 out of 30. Right, now the intersection of A and B is where the circles of A and B overlap, which is going to be here, the 2 and the 8. So that would be 10 out of 30. And so that would be 1 third. The intersection of A and C, so that would be the 8 and the 3 that are there. So C and A, they overlap with the 8 and the 3, so that would be 11 out of 30. Now the probability of B union C, so B or C or both. So anything that is in B, anything that is in C, and anything that is in the intersection, all added together. So we've got 6, 8, 16, 21, 22, 25 out of 30. So that would be 5 sixths. Now the probability of A union not B. So A or not B. So anything that is in A and anything that is outside of B. OK, so anything that's outside of B would include the 1, the 2, the 3, the 3, OK? So that's not B. And anything that's in A is the 3, the 3, the 2, and the 8. OK, so that is what we would be including here. So we've got... Uh, 2 and 8, so 10, 13, 16, 18, 19. So that would be 19 out of 30 for that one. OK. Right. A and B and C. Well, let me just erase those circles so they don't confuse us in the next few problems. OK. There's that one, and that one, and that one. OK, so A and B and C. So the intersection of all three circles, and that's right in the middle with the 8. So that would be 8 out of 30. So that would be 4 fifteenths. OK, so the last one, um, now this one is certainly uh, more complicated than the rest and is harder to think about and is at a push at the very limits of uh, what you could expect with this type of problem in the exam situation. Um, it's probably pushing the envelope a bit. So we've got not A, so anything that is outside of A, and anything that is outside of B, so that is now the overlap of those two regions, is the 1 and the 2 there. And anything that is in C, 
So if you think about the overlap of those three regions, there's only one number that is covered by all three. So if I was to shade this, so if I try and draw it from scratch, that'd probably be a better idea. Okay. So there's A, there's B, there's C. Okay, so we want not A, so that's anything that is outside of A. So that's one bit. Then we want not B, so anything that is outside of B. Okay, like that, and C. So C, uh, let's do that with vertical lines. So what I'm looking for is any region that has that intersection of all three bits. Okay, so we've got, this is green and red. That's blue and red. That's just blue, that's just red. Uh, this bit's red and blue. So this bit is the only bit that has red, green and blue, which corresponds with that one that is there. So it's just one out of 30. So remember, when you're doing intersections, you're looking for the overlap. Where do the regions overlap? Okay, that's how you can find the probability.